Hello everybody, how's it going? It's Daniel here. Welcome back to another Hornby review. In today's Hornby review, we are going to be reviewing the Hunslet and Parliament Limited tr Locomotive and Wagon Pack. So let's get started. So this pack came with uh, Hornby's W4 Peckett and three six plank wagons that were especially made for the pack, which I think looks amazing. Uh, overall, when you put the train together, it looks beautiful, and I really like the colors, they really stand out. So, first off, let's take a look at the locomotive first, and then we'll look at the cars. So, the W4 Peckett looks amazing, I really like all the details on it, you can see you, can ha you have, first off, a separately applied lamp iron on the top, you also have handrails, little details like that little star on the smoke box. You have a separately applied smoke box dart. Lining on the buffer beam, which looks beautiful. NEM couplings. Although, one thing that there is no, it, there's no sprung buffers, which are kind of a, a shame. If we look here to the tanks, you can see that you have Hunslet and Parliament Limited on the side, which looks utterly beautiful. I really love that. You also have the water cap on the top. I don't know what this little bob is next to the funnel, but I'm. you guys can tell me that in the comments. You also have the dome and the safety valves, which are, I'm pretty sure, are made out of metal. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. They, they're made out of plastic, I think, but they look beautiful. You also have the whistle, which is made out of metal. And it really feels nice. You also have all this pipe work on the um under the tanks which look beautiful and the lining on these little boxes here which look beautiful on the cylinder you also have lining which looks amazing the i really like the red side rods which fit really w well with the blue if you look at the cab you can also see it's lettered c and the builder's plate which looks really nice i think that's legible um you also have more lining here. You also have the steps, which are also lined, which is amazing how much line detail there is on this. The cab is phenomenal. The gauges aren't really picked out, but that's fine. You also have glazed windows on the front and the back, which look really nice. One thing I found interesting about the cab is that if you look here, there's a very small reverser rod here, and it goes and that's where this little bump on the back comes from and it sticks in there which i think is really nice and really nifty if we also look at the back we also have another dart here we don't have sprung buffer sadly but we do have a lot of lining on the back gold and white and black lining which looks amazing There's also a lot of rivets on this thing which i've noticed and i think looks really cool feels really good um when you touch it as well uh if we look here on the fr on the other side exact same thing you can see looks really beautiful um one thing i did notice that these little safety valves thing here are a little bit flimsy which i'm not really a big fan of and i do wish they had sprung buffers because i know hornby can do better than this but uh, i digress it's the tooling's a bit old and stuff so yeah um now let's take a look at the wagon so we're just gonna look at one of them for now um we're gonna look at um, we're briefly also going to look at the other two, but we're mainly just going to look at one of them for now for the review. So, here we have uh, a, one of the six plank wagons. This is number 25. That's something I found very interesting about the wagons. It's that they were all numbered. Um, the one behind the pecket is 23, that's 24, and this is 25, which I found really interesting. Um, the white line, the white lettering, the Hunslet and Parliament Limited is beautifully, like, displayed on the wagon, which looks amazing. Also has reading and the number there, which looks amazing. A couple of other little pr small printed details, which look amazing. Has metal wheels, which are really nice. Also has NEM couplings, which turn really good. And so they should run really well on my track and on my layout. 
the me the, the buffers are metal but again they're not sprung uh there's also the coupling also if you look inside there's also the wood paneling which looks really good i really like the paneling on this yeah i'll show you guys as well the other wagons oh so <laughs> here's number 24 And here is number 23. I think, like, by far, the wagons are some of the best wagons I've seen. Because they honestly run so nice, and they glide along the tracks beautifully with the packet. I'd also just want to take a minute and just show off the packaging over here as you guys can see this is the box that it came in if i close it for a second came with this really nice carrot leaf gold like um lettering and everything looks beautiful and then if we open the box again which give me a second if we open it again you can see there's a brief description of the hunsland parliament uh company which with the locomotive C and the six plank wagons. Uh, there's a little bit of history there and some really nice photos. There's one photo of the yard, which I actually really like that photo and a couple others here, which look great. Uh, it also came with uh, the foam packaging, which came on top of this. And here, this is where there was like an ice cube block for the locomotive and the three trucks. And that's really good. I really like it how it was foam. Like they used foam to protect this packaging, which looks amazing. They didn't just do it like with like any other ordinary train pack that you can just buy from Hornby. That's something I really like. And I really, rec I really commend Hornby for that. So, honestly, if I had to give this train pack a score, I would honestly say I'm going to have to give this an 8.5 out of 10, mainly because for the sprung buffers, I wish there were sprung buffers on this, not just molded like this. And also, the, the, the safety, like these little parts on the safety valve feel a little bit flimsy and stuff. I wish it was more like stronger and stable but yeah i mean overall it doesn't really detract from how beautiful the model is how much detail there is on it and i really love this i do not regret buying this if you guys want to get one yourself you guys can go to olivia's trains they're selling it for 150 pounds C crazy expensive right um and yeah they have great customer service and great service overall so yeah anyway that's all for today's review thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video please like comment and subscribe and i will see you all next time peace everyone